안녕하세요. 안차키입니다. We have a great lesson in store for you on this edition of Let's Speak Korean. 지승현 선생님, 안녕하세요. 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 지승현입니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. Thank you for joining us. Now, in our last lesson, we learned how to suggest a person do something. Okay? Now, here's a quick review. 선생님, 비빔밥을 먹을까요? 좋아요. 식당에 갈까요? 그래요. So, all we have to do is add either 을까요 or 릴까요 to the verb stem to come up with a question suggesting something. Well, in this lesson, we're going to study how to answer this question in more detail, right? So, let's take a look at the clip first. All right. It seems that Michael is late for an appointment with Suji. Now, Suji is naturally a little bit angry at this, so Michael is sorry and he suggests that they watch a movie and then get something to eat. Now, the two people decide to have Pibimbap, and they head for a restaurant. Michael sees a Korean restaurant and he suggests that they go there. Well then, let's get a check of the expressions in this lesson. We'll learn how to answer in more detail than we last learned when we agree to a suggestion. That is, we'll find out how to add ayo, ayo, or change the verb stem to heyo. Okay, and in a continuation from our last lesson, we'll go over some more suggestions using the expressions riul kayo or ul kayo. Now let's begin with a look at some new words that will pop up in this lesson. Now please listen carefully. Onje. Onje. Odi. Odi. 몇 시? 몇 시? 무슨 과일? 무슨 과일? Very good. Now we're going to take another look at the clip, so please pay careful attention to the sort of suggestions that Michael and Suji make to one another. Let's begin. Okay, in our last lesson, we learned how to add either 을까요 or 리을까요 to the verb stem to come up with a suggestion. Now, there is another way to do this. Instead of putting it in the question form, we can put the verb in the present tense and also come up with a suggestion. So, we can either put it in a question form as in, shall we eat now? Or we can put it in the present tense and come up with a command that says, let's eat now. Okay, so how would we say this in Korean? 지금 밥 먹어요. Now this has the same meaning as the question form, but when it is said by the second person, it is a suggestion or a request. So it's the same case when we say, let's go to that restaurant. Now how would we say this in Korean? 저 식당으로 가요. Now we can turn the verb into the present tense to come up with a suggestion, right? And the way to do this is the same as when we turn the infinitive verb into the present tense. 
When the verb stem ends in the vowel a or o, we add io to it. But for the rest of the vowels and consonants, we add oyo. And when the verb stem ends in hada, we change it into heyo. Let's get some practice with some other sentences now. 사과를 사요. 치마를 입어요. 5시에 시작해요. 여기 앉아요. Now, this is what we covered in our last lesson. Remember, I mentioned that we add either 을까요 or 리을까요 to the verb stem to come up with a question suggesting something. Now, what should we eat? Let's try this in Korean. 뭘 먹을까요? Where shall we go in Korean now? 어디 갈까요? Now then, let's practice making some other sentences with the words that we have already learned. 선생님 and I are going to get some practice, so please join us. Okay. Which fruits should we buy? 무슨 과일을 살까요? Buy some apple. 사과를 사요. Shall I wear this dress? 이 옷을 입을까요? Yes, wear this dress. 네, 이 옷을 입어요. Shall we start at 2 o'clock? 2시에 시작할까요? No, start at 5 o'clock. 아니요, 5시에 시작해요. Shall we sit here? 여기 앉을까요? No, sit there. 아니요, 저기 앉아요. Time now to learn some extra expressions. Could you identify some of the new words that came up in the dialogue? Well, one new word was in what Suji said when Michael showed up late for their appointment. She said, 왜 오늘도 늦었어요? Right? The new word here is 왜, and the other new word is 늦었어요. 왜 means why, and 늦었어요 would be equivalent to are you late? Why are you late? Right? So, it is the past tense of the infinitive 늦다, meaning to be late. Okay, why are you late again today? 왜 오늘도 늦었어요? 왜 오늘도 늦었어요? Time now to get a wrap up of the lesson. Please go over the expressions one by one along with the clip. <laughs> Suji, 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 왜 오늘도 늦었어요? 친구가 전화를 했어요. 
친구가 전화를 했어요. 미안해요. 미안해요. 오늘 영화 볼까요? 오늘 영화 볼까요? 좋아요. 좋아요. 수지 씨, 지금 밥 먹어요. 수지 씨, 지금 밥 먹어요. 오늘 아침도 안 먹었어요. 오늘 아침도 안 먹었어요. 그래요? 뭘 먹을까요? 그래요? 뭘 먹을까요? 비빔밥 먹어요. 비빔밥 먹어요. 어디 갈까요? 어디 갈까요? 저 식당으로 가요. 저 식당으로 가요. 굿 o 오케이, okay, it's time now to take another look at the clip. So please use this to memorize the expressions. It'll come in handy. Suji, sorry. Michael, sir, you waited for 15 minutes. Why did you wait for me? My friend called me. Sorry. Do you want to watch a movie? 좋아요. 수지 씨, 지금 밥 먹어요. 오늘 아침도 안 먹었어요. 그래요? 뭘 먹을까요? 비빔밥 먹어요. 어디 갈까요? 저 식당으로 가요. The patchim that we will learn for this lesson is the character chiud. Remember that patchim, as I have mentioned before, is the character that comes at the bottom of a letter. Now, let's put together the letter a with the patchim chiud. Okay. Now, how would we pronounce this? Please listen and repeat. At. 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 Yes, that's right. This letter is read as ad. Okay, now the character chiud, when it functions as a patchim, makes the sound ud. So if you put together the letter a and the character chiud, and if you pronounce it very quickly, then you will end up with the sound ad. Okay, then. Now, what about some words that contain this character as a patchim? Let's find out. Not. Not. Chitta. Chitta. Chosso. Chosso. So it's goodbye for another edition of Let's Speak Korean. Now in this lesson, we learned how to answer a person in more detail when they make a suggestion. Now before we leave you, here's a quick review. 선생님, 무슨 선물을 살까요? 음, 꽃을 사요. 무슨 꽃을 사요? 장미를 사요. 네. Okay. By the way, 장미 is rose. Okay. Well, I see. Well, let's stop here for this lesson and until next time. 안녕히 계세요.